Welcome to our training. Configure your Seller Central account. You registered as an Amazon seller. Congrats. Your next step is configuring your Seller Central account. Your account was created with certain default settings and registration information. But you'll want to review your settings and complete any outstanding information to ensure a smooth start to your Amazon selling experience. Let's review how to configure each part of your Seller Central account. After signing into Seller Central, access your account settings and information by hovering over the gear or settings icon. Click account info to access your account information. You can then click your seller profile to view and edit the public seller profile that appears in each country based Amazon marketplace you sell in. Your public seller profile includes the display name for your business which appears in each of your offers. It also includes the link to your Amazon marketplace if you've created one for a brand enrolled in Amazon brand registry. Your marketplace link appears on the detail pages for products associated with your brand as well as other locations. Your seller profile also includes the email addresses and phone numbers you use to provide customer service. Make sure these details are always current so you can respond to customer inquiries promptly. Back on the seller account information page, click going on vacation in the next section. Then, listing status if you ever need to temporarily deactivate all your Amazon listings. Sellers can use this tool anytime they want to pause new orders. Click Manage in the Your Services section to view and edit your enrollment in various programs. Switch your selling plan, individual or professional. View your status and programs like sponsored products and fulfillment by Amazon or FBA or sign up for additional programs like Amazon Pay. You can use the second column on the seller account information page to view and edit a variety of operations information. Use links in the payment information section to keep your deposit and charge methods up to date. It's important to keep your bank account information current so we can transfer your sales revenue on a regular cycle. It's also important to keep your credit card information current to prevent settlement or listing issues. Use the links in the business information section to view and edit key operations details. Some of these details like your merchant token aren't viewable in the Amazon marketplace. Similarly, your business address should be the address your business is registered under or your operating address if you are an individual entity. The next section, shipping and returns information, is where you can view and edit the settings you use to ship orders and manage return settings. If you fulfill orders yourself, which we call seller or merchant fulfillment, you should review both types of settings before you list items in the Amazon marketplace. If you send all your items to Amazon for fulfillment through FBA, you won't need to configure shipping settings but should still check and confirm settings for returns. Click shipping settings to view your shipping rates and restrictions for seller fulfilled orders which include your geographic shipping regions and service levels. Your shipping settings are displayed to customers and can impact their decision to buy. Shipping settings can also impact your item's chances of becoming the featured offer. For example, offering free shipping or shipping that's faster than competitor shipping may increase its chances. Your account has default shipping settings when it's first created. You can use templates to customize them, adjusting the regions you ship to and the service levels you support for each region. You can also use shipping settings to adjust the method you use to calculate shipping fees. Choose between a per item or per pound rate or a price band rate. The first option calculates customer shipping using either the number of items purchased or their total weight. The second option calculates shipping using the total amount of an order. If you are just shipping settings, keep in mind that standard shipping is a requirement for all sellers. Before selecting any additional service levels, you'll also want to confirm that you can meet the indicated commitment. Click Return Address in the Shipping and Returns Information section to view and edit return settings for your seller fulfilled and FBA orders. In the General Settings section, you can review and adjust 
return authorization and return label defaults for each country specific marketplace and provide customers with specific return instructions in the resolution section you can create a rule for a return list resolution in the manage return addresses section you can adjust the addresses you want to use for customer returns in each marketplace and in the return program settings section you choose to offer free returns for all some or none of your items make sure you keep all your return settings and information current to support smooth processing and preserve customer trust remember that all sellers who fulfill orders directly must provide customers with one of three return options a domestic return address a prepaid return label or a return list refund there are a few other types of account settings and information in seller central that you'll want to review hover over the gear icon then click notification preferences to edit the alerts you receive from amazon under the notification options tab you can select the type of alerts you like to receive get alerted when you receive an order for example or when you receive a return request for a seller fulfilled order you can also deselect notifications if you want to stop receiving certain alerts under the contacts tab you can edit the default email address and phone number you use to receive alerts these defaults are used automatically for certain notification types but you are able to customize others hover over the gear icon then click login settings if you ever need to update the email address and password associated with your seller central account you can also go straight to your shipping and return settings using shortcuts in the settings drop down menu if you have a professional selling plan click gift options to view and edit the descriptions you provide customers about any gift messaging and gift wrap services you offer gift messaging and wrapping services aren't account defaults but professional sellers can enable them anytime they'd like to offer customers an enhanced buying experience professional sellers can also hover over the gear icon then click tax settings to set up amazon's tax calculation services for sales and use taxes before you set up tax calculation services review our tax calculation services help pages If you are looking for assistance with your tax and compliance obligations, you can also contact a third-party tax advisor. When you first register as a seller, only you can access your Seller Central account. But if you are a professional seller, you can provide access to others, that is, employees, co-owners, or contractors, for example. Start by hovering over the gear icon, then clicking User Permissions. On the user permissions page, enter contact information for new account users or manage settings for existing users. When you invite a new user, they'll receive an email with instructions for accessing your Seller Central account using their own credentials. As a secondary account user, their access to various tools is determined by the permissions you grant. You can provide secondary account users with access to view and edit certain tools. You can also restrict their access to certain tools or grant administrator access which lets them grant tool access to others. If you ever want to view a chronological list of user permission changes for your Seller Central account, hover over the gear icon then click User Permissions History. Remember that when multiple users are accessing an account, individual credentials should remain confidential. Note 2 that the actions of all account users contribute to your account health hover over the gear icon then click your info and policies to access a list of pages you can provide customers with additional information about your business click profile to add information to your public seller profile or use additional links to create custom help page content for your shipping policies privacy policy gift services or tax policies you can also create a page for frequently asked questions or custom help content you can click the last link on the your info and policies page if you are a professional seller and want to add certifications to your seller profile add national or state diversity certifications 
if for example you are a registered small business or at quality certifications if your products meet standards set by various organizations like the international organization for standardization or iso finally if you send products to amazon for fulfillment hover over the gear icon then click fulfillment by amazon to access an fba settings dashboard you'll manage any actual fba shipments and inventory using other tools in seller central primarily manage fba inventory and manage fba shipments but you can use fba settings to quickly review and update general settings for your fba operations for example you can enable and adjust settings for inventory headed into our network or fulfillment centers or you can enable options for fba subscribe and save program to encourage recurring purchases from customers this concludes our video on configuring your seller central account we encourage you to keep your account settings and information up to date to support an ideal experience for both you and your customers thank you and happy selling in the amazon marketplace